Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Fossil, and I'm back with another video. My collection of natural wonders and oddities spans from various different items, from fossils to minerals to seashells to rocks. But there is one item among this vast collection of mine that stands out among the rest. It is a very, very peculiar oddity, I shall say. And it is in this red box right here, on top of it, which are two rock specimens and two horseshoe crab shells. So without further ado, let me show you this oddity, or I should say an anomaly, within my collection. After digging out the red box, I have now removed this specimen, and I'm going to show it to you guys. So, guys, without further ado, here is my most strangest object within my collection. Feast your eyes. It is a stawfish specimen, a dried out sea staw. This is the top end of its body, and this is its underside. And this is it from the side. But as you can see, there seems to be something quite peculiar and quite off about this little sea star of mine. Here we have two other starfish specimens right next to the oddball. As you can tell, the two other ones are quite big, but I assure you guys that that is not why the small one is an oddball. As you can see, as you can see, these two other starfish specimens have your standard common starfish body type, having five arms or legs. This little guy here is in the shape of an X, not a star, because he only has four legs or arms. So you may ask, guys, how did this starfish get four legs instead of five? How did it become this way to begin with? This sea star doesn't seem to have lost one of its five arms, as you can see by its body. You see, starfish arms can be torn off by predators like crabs to eat. But even with an arm torn off, the starfish can regrow its limb to, no, to its success. But it seems that no crab or other sea creature ripped off this starfish's arm. This little guy right here was born this way. This starfish is a genetic anomaly, I should say, among, it, among its kind. It was born this way with four arms. This, I have to say, probably is a rare occurrence, probably, in the starfish world. I don't know how common it is, but probably something went wrong in its genes and it just came out four-legged. Judging by its size, it doesn't seem to have really affected this creature. Probably moved around and still ate shellfish. But, um, you know. Yeah, this is um a very fascinating specimen. The most strangest thing in my collection so far. But yeah, this little guy is truly a peculiarity, an oddity within my collection. I would now like to do a comparison between our little four-legged friend and this larger um, casual starfish, because I think that they probably belong to the same species, and I will show you why. First off, they seem to have a similar style of coloration on the top and the bottom half. There's, like, look at them inside here, you see like the little suckers in here, used for walking. 
you know, the little specks on his body. Now let's look at the bigger one. Even though its color pattern is a bit different, you can tell it does have the same little studs on it, as you can see, the little white studs. But on the bottom too, you see the same coloration on both of them, the suckers and all. But yeah, guys, I think that um, this little four-limbed anomaly of ours, our little buddy, is the same species as its, you know, five-legged cousin here. I think they're the same kind. Our little curiosity, as you can tell, has nothing in common with this starfish. This is a knobby starfish, and it got its name because, as you can tell, it has knobs covering its body. Um, you can tell, like, with the coloration, you know, the design of its body, as well as, you know, um, the suckers and all that, the underside. It really doesn't look the same at all, so you can tell that it is not a knobby starfish. But yeah, guys, out of all the specimens I have in my drawers, the fossils, minerals, rocks, and shells, amongst many other things, this four-limbed starfish is the most bizarre and unique item within my collection that I own. It is truly a surprise to me. I got it for Christmas one year, and I actually enjoy it. You know, it's a very strange gift, and I enjoy having it in my collection, and it can be a very good conversation starter if someone sees it. But yeah, I, I am very glad to have this. You know, I don't know how common four-limbed starfish are in, in the wild, but um, this must be a rarity in the starfish world. But um, I wonder what people were like when they found this dead specimen on the beach to sell. You know, probably thought it was an oddball, and you know they decided to pick it up and you know try it out and sell it. But um, yeah, very interesting find, I have to say, very interesting indeed. To end off this video, I'd like to teach you guys some facts about starfish. Starfishes belong to the animal group known as echinoderms, which includes your sea urchins, sand dollars, and even sea cucumbers. The most common starfish body plan, of course, is, you know, a star shape, which is five limbs, but there are some species that have even more, like your sunflower stars which have, I don't even know how many arms, but there are some species that have more than five legs. The underside of the starfish on each of its arms are suckers. These suckers help it move and clamp onto its surroundings and even its prey. In the center of the starfish, you can see a little mouth. Out through its mouth, when it consumes its prey, which are mainly bivalves, is its stomach. Its stomach comes out of its mouth, wraps around its prey, and digests its prey from the inside out. But that's the mouth of the common starfish here, and that's the mouth of your knobby starfish right there. If you look closely on the little four-legged one, you see this little um, circular disc-shaped um, part on top of its body. This part actually helps it move. It basically draws water within its body and helps power its um, tube-like feet on its arms. Basically, it sucks in water, and then it basically, when it sucks in the water, it basically helps this creature move around. Basically, like a hydraulic system. And I gotta say, that's actually a very interesting um, design right there. Very interesting on nature's part to have a hydraulic system within an animal. On the knobby starfish, you can see there's that little hole there. It's not very visible, but that hole is provides the same function for like um, absorbing the water and, you know, powering its feet. On this specimen, it's not v really visible, as you can see. Or it is, I think it's that little thing right there. I don't really know. Contrary to our little friend here, who was born with four le legs, when a starfish loses its leg, it can regrow it. You know, it doesn't have to worry. But, if you didn't know, a starfish leg that is removed from the starfish's main body can become its own starfish. Its own singular entity. That is amazing. Basically, you have an identical clone to the original starfish. 
What a wonder of the natural world, isn't it? But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of my starfish specimens, especially the four-legged one in the middle, and some starfish facts. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. That is all for today, and I hope you have a nice day and stay safe and well. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys.